Hello. Welcome to a one versus one cast with Realm Players Man 11th and Grizzly. Grizzly in red over here with a quadruped commander going for a standard eco opening build. Let's just pop caps lock on so we always see what on earth is going on. Man 11th setting up a huge build queue with his commander getting up a lot of factories. Not going too eco heavy with his commander, surprisingly. Now, while they are doing their opening builds, I'll take this opportunity to show you it's a single planet system. One tiny radius planet. I believe it's something about radius 200 or something like that. I'm not even sure what radius this is. Um, but the uh, reason why I sound so relieved is because I have just casted a several planet system game, which was a nine player free for all. Um, and that'll be going up sometime over the next few days. I need to edit it down because it lasted about an hour and a half. It had nukes, it had orbital, it had so much stuff. Um, but of course, when you get to that point, it just slows down so much, and uh, I even crashed out of it a couple of times, but I didn't miss any of the good stuff, I don't think. So, uh, just to let you know, there will be probably two videos to go with that one coming up in the near future, um, so do stick around for that. I recommend them. While they were a pain to cast, they were certainly fun to watch. So... Back to the game. Grizzy getting out some fabricators first, going for more eco and then another bot factory with some energy storage as well. Man 11th doing the same but getting out some scampers instead. Neither player has elected to scout as of yet. <clears throat> uh, and indeed there's an idle fabricator sat there. Is there any reason for this? There he goes, now he's moving, getting that sort of metal up over there. Might be wise to get maybe a little bit of energy because this number of factories is going to require more energy. It really is. Um, and how here comes out another fabricator, probably to assist this one on this mechs over here, which isn't going up as fast as it probably could and or even should be. But now the commander is working on the second bot factory down here. We have more bot factories and we also have an air factory queued up. So that. Um, with any luck, he will get out some scouting from Grizzy very soon. We also have this scamper over here, or docks, moving around the map, checking out spawn site possibilities, just to make sure Man 11th isn't at any one of those. And Man 11th is really going bot heavy this game, he's not going a vehicle factory in sight. All of it just bots, 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 bots. Another thing I should mention about this game, I believe these two players have agreed on a pelter rule. And that is one pelter is allowed within one radius of each other, so you cannot pelter spam as such. So you cannot have like pelter, 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 pelter. You have to have uh, pelter and then within the radius you can only have one other pelter. And the radius is obviously can't like, overlap or anything. So that way you'll only have pelter spamming at certain points in terms of where they actually reach. Uh, but the pelters themselves won't be spammed. Now, lots of scampers coming out already from Man 11th. Very aggressive opening. Only two fabricators that are now idle. Um, however, we do have seven scampers here. And more eco going up from this commander who's just going to trudge around and build even more uh, factories and eco as he goes. More scouting coming out now. We've got this firefly just about to find the location of our good friend. There we go. He sees the aggression. He sees all the factories there. He sees everything else that is ready and waiting to come his way he realizes oh no i need to do something about that number of scampers i don't like that many scampers not on my watch but uh, it appears as though he's got a sort of scouting patrol almost going yes indeed it is he's got a patrol path set so that's very good indeed so we'll be able to see not only this when it's built but also when these things move out and indeed now there's a patrol up there for all of that scouting as well. Very good play. Lots of scampers moving out now across the map from Man 11th in very early raid, although that is uh, in defense of Grizzy's little scamper pusher there. It goes down without taking out a mechs, but does do damage to it. Grizzy now is going to be pushed to build a large number of factories in quick succession. 
He can't really waste too much on air at this point. If he doesn't see an air factory going up, he should probably uh, call a halt to it for the time being, although still needs to get out enough to be able to control this guy's just in case Man 11th may or may not transition to air later on in the game. So, Grizzly's commander now, moving out a little bit. We're going to go and uh, probably up here and help with this lot, maybe even build... Uh, this mech's here, but this scamper now just about to scout the uh, this side of the spawn of Grizzy. We'll probably also find the commander, and yes, well, the commander takes well, what should have taken a little hit, is now absolutely a okay and can do whatever it is commanders do. But this scouting patrol here very good indeed it means that he'll be able to see any scampers moving across here and give himself potentially enough time to get his commander out or reinforcements to the correct front lines we also see now is a couple of docks sitting up by the north pole excuse me for the uh, sporadic zooming knows where the commander is all the time knows what the commander is building lots of factories going up so he sees all of that from Grizzy, Grizzy's command now sitting on the front line building up some eco. Lots more factories now. Two of the three are now producing scampers. One is still pumping out whoa fabricators. Not entirely sure what happened there. And more um, expansion from Grizzy towards the south, and even popping up a little bit of defence with it as he goes as well, which is also a good idea because that means that it's not going to be raided as well. If your stuff's going to be raided, you take something down with you. Now the transition to vehicles. It'll be interesting to see how Man 11th responds to this, but he already has a huge number of scampers. Now let's see what he does when he sees this moving around. Blah! In come the scampers. Now, what can he really do against this? Um, Put up point defense? Or is he not going to bother doing much at all? Because there's not really a huge amount he can do. Here comes the commander now, moving over. He realises it's going to be all or nothing right now because it's just such build power. So much build power. Here come the scampers, surrounded. Four down the bottom doing great work. Just doing a little bit of damage here and there to this scamper body. Now they're moving into the anti-air. The commander almost dying. Moving in now for the rest of the kill. Can the commander get the D-gun? He wants to move closer, otherwise he's not going to be able to take them all down. He might just with the help of the pelters and the other scampers. Goodness me, that was very close. He wants to get himself healed and a defensive line established before the next wave. That is ready to push in around the north there and another wave already moving out. And establishing itself here from all of these factories that just keep getting produced but this scouting is absolutely tremendous it's giving uh, Grizzy information all the time everything he needs to know he knows so he can see everything it might be wise getting out some bombers and bumblebees actually because uh, from what I hear those are pretty adequate at uh, taking out scamper raids like this but here come the next wave has the commander been healed not as much as I would have hoped more scampers there uh, vehicle factory is just about to come out as well going to try and uh, get out some uh, ants <clears throat> to repel these scampers as they move in are they going to be enough I don't think so because we now have this raiding force from the north coming in as well which it doesn't quite see in time so he's going to lose a whole bit of eco from up here and this commander here as well going to move in take out this raiding party but equally the north is gone. There is an anti-air turret which has failed. There is another anti-air turret which is doing damage actually. It's doing quite a surprising number of kills. I think that anti-air tower deserves a medal. It just single-handedly held off against all of those scampers. And as they move around now they might just about get caught out by it but they're gonna run into this one down here certainly. In comes another wave from Man 11th who just continues to press out more and more and more factories. Um, popping in with um, energy storage as he goes. Grizzy really on the back foot here. But uh, these scampers here just waiting. Uh, 
Yes, they're being scouted all the time, but they are just waiting. They realize, you know what, we're going to sit here, we're going to taunt you, because you can't do anything about us at this point in time. You don't have the build power. Although, uh, at this point, if I'm honest, Man 11th doesn't realize what uh, Grizzy is doing, or what he might not be doing, because there's just no scouting. But this wave here, I think, could potentially be the end of Grizzy. Um, as long as he doesn't start actually getting up some defenses. We have Scampers moving in as well to defend. Ants as well. These guys healing. How effective are they going to be? The Scampers aren't getting close enough to the commander for him to start shooting over them. I'm not sure if that's been established into gentlemen's rules yet. The commander using the Ants as bait and a meat shield almost to take off against these scampers and while actually this is really interesting because while Grizzy was trying to establish a sort of forward meat shield as it were for his base he was establishing a whole bunch of vehicle factories further back in his base but now these scampers are going to push around the side evade the commander and indeed be able to uh, take out these factories Excuse me, I'm rather exhausted after that uh, earlier cast. Pelters being able to uh, subdue that very well indeed. More factories going up on the front line now from Grizzy, who has somehow managed to hold off against Man 11's early onslaught. But now there's another one re ready and waiting around, coming up from the north. Can he defend against this one? This is the next question, because that is a very large amount. You can probably take a, f a few down using uh, pelters and anti-air, um, but without efficient uh, and adequate units to counter. I'm not entirely sure he has the ability to, uh, to defend. So these fabricators here just about getting up defences. Probably want a whole bunch of anti-air, if I'm honest. Be cheaper and faster to erect. Now they're moving out of the way so they don't uh, die, but unfortunately they are going to sit there. They are going to get taken out. Goodbye, fabricator team. And these ants here are going to move in single file. And the scampers are just going to just move in in time and take these ants out easy peasy because they are in single file. Gonna move in now, take out even more eco. We're at this end, Grizzy's just trying to uh, do various things wherever his commander has gone. Where has his commander gone? He, although he has expanded down to the south pole, we haven't seen, I haven't uh, drawn your attention to that. Commander moved the other way. The ants managed to successfully subdue all of those scampers. But you see here, Grizzy is expanding a lot more than Man 11th. Because while Man 11th might think, you know what, I think I've got Grizzy on the back foot. But as long as Grizzy can keep his commander out of trouble, which he isn't doing at the moment. Excuse me. Um, he can probably pull this back with uh, greater economic expansion and build power. The reason I said he wasn't really protecting his commander at the moment is because there's no healers here whatsoever. If this blob was to go and kill the commander there, well, I would kill the commander, obviously. Because there's no healers here at all, there's nothing to defend it, it's just sat out in the open, it's not building anything, or anything like that whatsoever. So the entire front line that was just newly built is gone. So many scampers for man 11th. Oh, I do apologise for being so tired, the last cast really, really has uh, taken a hit to my energy levels. Um, but uh, yes, these scampers will continue to move in now and uh, will indeed manage to take out a fair chunk of this base. <coughs> or at least that is perception, but now they meet the laser turret. One hit kill per scamper and the anti-air turret. They aren't going to get much further in, but they are going to take down that factory there. Not too much more damage is done today. And now it is time to re-establish lines and defensive lines and all sorts. Is Man 11th taking up yet? No, he is not. He's getting just more factories, more eco, more scampers, another wave moving out. I mean, this is the amazing thing. The moment one wave is destroyed, the next wave is ready to move out. Um, although we do have ants now moving in with the commander up north. 
I think this might be an all or nothing considering the build power of Man 11th which is really quite phenomenal for such an early stage in the game Scampers versus Ants Scampers win Commander realizing oh no I misjudged you I must call a GG because there is nothing I can do. Goodbye, Grizzy. Game to Man 11th. Unfortunately, Grizzy didn't keep his commander under healers, but in came the ants just now. Didn't quite manage to get to their potential because he was a little bit too overzealous with that commander. Which was unfortunate. Which is very much unfortunate. Anyway, thanks for watching this rather brief cast. Hope you liked it. Hope you can pop a comment. Oh, I like it if you like it. And uh, share slash subscribe for much more coming your way very, very soon indeed. And don't forget to stick around for these uh, this two-part cast coming up over the next few days. I do have to edit it, of course, and juggle that with time for my coursework that I also have been set for this Christmas break. So, on that note, I will say thanks again for watching. And as always, have a nice day.